so this is the navsense nt 12000 v1 spin quarter this is the main display section this is the lid this is the spirit level you can adjust the level of the spin quarter with the legs that is available at the bottom this is chuck with different size o-ring capacity so that whatever size or substrate you have you can place a corresponding o-ring and use it and as a push fit chucks so you can easily take it out and clean it this is a drain port and this is a deldrin bowl easy for cleaning chemical resistant bowl magnet locks so this is the drain port this is the power power cord this is the vacuum port yeah now we will plug the instrument yeah we will switch on so this is the 7 inch touch display that we will be getting along with NT2000 spin quarter and we have nitrogen perch inlet so if you want to purge nitrogen you can plug in this connector and use nitrogen perch if it is not if you need not use it you can remove it yeah so this is the display so this is the main interface this is the rpm y axis is the rpm x axis is the time uh, this is step count how many steps you are using this is the live rpm feedback yeah so let's add programs so it asks for steady state rpm and acceleration time steady state is the term when like uh, you, you need to you need to say the system like at which rpm you need to stay for how many seconds say you need you need to ramp up to 3000 rpm and stay for 10 seconds then you mention 10 so like after reaching 3000 rpm it stays at 10 seconds so acceleration in how many seconds you need to reach 3000 either 0 means it's ramp up it's instant 2 5 or 10 or 10 or 20 like that so we'll put 5 seconds as acceleration okay so this is the graph you'll be getting only once you add the graph you will be able to edit it refresh it or play it or save it before adding you can't add any more graphs and if you need to add more steps again go to plus again add a required steps say i need now to ramp up to 5 6 thousand rpm zero acceleration yeah okay 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 fine okay so this is the so there will be down there are two steps are added so we can go for step count and see step one is 3000 rpm for 10 seconds and it takes five seconds to reach 3000 rpm step two again those details yeah now we'll play it close a so this is the live rpm feedback that you will be getting and a line traces along the path of the set line so once it is done if you want to save the program yeah you save it Say you'll say like sample. So it asks for all the, re uh, the researcher's name, experiment works you're using, what coding solution you're using, what volume you're using, what substrate you're using, description. If we have any particular thing you need to write up to, yeah. and these are optional. So for whatever is useful for you, you use it. Yeah. You now you refresh the screen. Yeah. So now you want to go back to saved program. 
open internal sample load now we play it the instrument is running so i need to stop it stop so stop commands completely stops the program and it is not a pause command so once you click play it again starts from the beginning yeah okay stop yeah uh so now uh um, so now, now your, your your program is done your uh, experiment is done you need to save the program in an external storage uh to use it for a different spin coder or a spin coder in different lab or something you need to download your program in some pendrive we have an external storage facility so you flash the pendrive in fat32 format it is written in the manual as well fat32 format fat32 format is only a readable format that this device can access to so you plug in it yeah then go to folder internal so you need to upload the sample program okay before that we have, we will see what is available in the external storage external so these are available programs in external storage yeah now we cancel now we will upload the sample program upload project uploaded successfully now we go to the external sample so it is there so you can plug out your pen drive and use it and it is in dot excel as well that means like in excel sheet you can edit those values and again uh, plug it in the spin coder to use it answer yeah so now we we'll see like you need delete this sample from this system internal delete delete yeah you deleted it so now again you need to load it from pen drive and run it external sample download it okay again go sample it's available yeah you load the sample so the sample is loaded so click play instrument turns yeah stop yeah so this is our spin coder the maximum number of steps is 10 steps and you can edit or add up to 10 steps yeah and this is the wifi tab on wifi so user can connect to the available networks at least available networks connect so that our device is ota capability so like any kind of updates or stability updates that we will release occasionally you will receive it over the air and we can debug if there is any issue in spin coder we can debug it over the air thank you